I'd like to make an observation about the thing of church building people, their hypocrisy that I've experienced over the years. Um, I've met with a lot of these different people and they'll say, well, you know, we understand that the church is the people, it's not the building. Um, where you meet is, is not important or whatever else. It's just we meet in a church building and everything's fine, but we don't worship the building. And yet their hypocrisy easily shines through because if their building is ever robbed or it's, oh, oh can you imagine people would actually steal from a church? Like it's some kind of a holy building or something. That proves their hypocrisy. Uh, hey, don't run, you're in church to the children. Uh, again, it's this holy place where you just, you don't dare do anything wrong or whatever, but uh, the real hypocrisy comes in when it comes to ministries. And I've seen this with uh, family members and whatever else. Um, my ministry is not a real ministry because it's not tied to some stupid building. You know, um, if I had 43,000 plus members in a church building, well then I'd be worshipped. I'd be a, on the Jack Hiles God level. But 43,000 subscribers that, you know, it's non-monetized. There's never been, I've never bought any artificial intelligence bots, uh, unlike others, uh, Breaker and Gene Kim. Um, the Lord got me here to this point in time with my ministry, um, that I have this many subscribers. But my ministry is not legitimate because I don't, they're not tied to a building someplace. Just absolute total stink and hypocrisy that I've seen over the years with these people. They truly do worship their buildings. And you know, no brother, we don't, we don't worship the building. Yes, you do. Yes, you do. Um, and that's why I'm against these things. They're unscriptural. Uh, there's no way, no right way to do a wrong thing. And you know, you look at the Old Testament when they had the Jewish synagogue and what happened? They brought idols into it. Um, do the same thing today with their pagan church buildings. Um, they bring their idols into it. Um, I mean, you can see that, you know, Super Bowl Sunday nights and whatever else and all this other worldly junk that they bring into these church buildings. Um, <clears throat> but the whole thing is they raise their traditions. They elevate their traditions above the scriptures. Um, and, you know, where's YouTube ministry at? And, you know, they get that whole thing, and I've, which I've answered many times. But I'll just say it again. Um, YouTube ministry is a public ministry. Uh, I'm on YouTube, I'm on Rumble, I'm wherever. My stuff goes public. You know, copyright free, it comes out there and there it is. Whatever. There's nothing sacred or holy about YouTube or Rumble or, you know, anything else I've been on. You know, I, I think there's still some of my videos on Vimeo too. But uh, people take my stuff and they put it on Facebook, they put it on this thing and that, on whatever else. Fine, great, it's public ministry. But I will never ever have some stupid building and call it a church and pretend that I'm holy for having it. And you know, then people can come there to worship me. That's nonsense. But the whole point of this video is just to point out the hypocrisy again of church building people where I'm not respected, my ministry is not respected because it's not tied to some stupid church building. And yet the funny thing is, there's a lot of church buildings out there, Baptist churches especially, who are non-monetized and they can't get anywhere close to the level of subscribers that I can or the views that I can or whatever else. I find that funny. Um, nobody even cares about these stupid Babel buildings. And yet the ministry the Lord's given me and he has used greatly over the years, uh, I reach a lot of people. Praise the Lord for that. But my ministry is not legitimate. Hmm, kind of interesting. So I just wanted to make a quick little video, just a little rant about that whole thing because I'm, I get really sick and tired of that. Just being put down, oh, you know, we'll get a real ministry, Denlinger, or whatever else, you know, you need to go to church, you need to this and that. And it's funny too, because, you know, even if you don't have a bigger ministry like mine, um, you know that you get put down because you don't go to church. You don't have some stupid, uh, membership in, in one of these stupid pagan buildings. You know that. Um, oh, you're, you worship at home? Oh, <laughs> well, someday you'll grow up and go to a, you know, a little pagan building called a church. Just ridiculous. Um, brethren, 
Uh, don't ever be swayed by these church building people. They're the biggest liars. Some of the biggest liars. There's some that are, do a little bit better, but uh, you know they're they're up there at the top. But they're some of the biggest liars out there. They'll deceive you. They'll continue to spout their lie of you know we're Bible believing Christians in all matters of faith and practice. That's a lie. They are not. Um, God, the Lord Jesus Christ, is not some stupid idiot that forgot to write, you know, building, you know, build a church and invite lost people into it. He didn't do that. God finished the New Testament and he has it written the way that it's written for a very good reason. And uh, to say, well, you know, church buildings came later. If it came later, then it's not of God. Plain and simple. And of course, you know, the church building philosophers will look and they'll say, well, what about the written Bible? What about scripture that's written in a book form? That came later and, you know, they'll do all these little mind games and whatever else. Whatever. You'll know them by their fruits. And the fruits that the church buildings produce are rotten. They always have been. Uh, every quote-unquote good church um, is filled with marriage problems, perversion problems, fighting, division, all kinds of things like that. So... Don't ever be swayed into going to one of these church buildings, you know. And if you're going to one and defending it, you need to get right with God. I'm not saying you're lost necessarily in terms of you might just be newly saved and you're just ignorant of the whole issue. But uh, if you're going to defend them, then uh, I have some very, very big questions about you. So that is going to be it. And uh, thank you for watching.